Hi, I'm Dan and this is Sarah and we are the LaFonsies and this is our story. Um, when, we, uh, when we first started LifePoint, um, our relationship was pretty rocky. Uh, we had recently split up and uh, I was seeing our, our son who was a baby, you know, about every weekend or every other weekend or so. Um, and I had noticed a difference in, in Sarah and she had just started LifePoint um, through some friends of our mutual friends of ours that had invited her. I was definitely, I was in a rough place. I was. I was drinking a lot, I was going out a lot, I was missing you know, her being with me, I was missing my son. Um, and then when, when we would be in contact, she seemed much happier. And so that didn't really make sense, right? Like we're split apart and I'm, I'm seeing the best out of her and, and I'm seeing the worst out of myself. And, and so I knew that there was, there was a big disconnect and, and she had mentioned that you know, just getting back into church and back in her roots was really critical to her and that was, she was starting to find quite a bit of happiness and peace. And so I definitely wanted to be a part of that, especially as we were uh, patching things up again and, and trying to make it work. I started attending LifePoint with her. And actually the first week that I attended, this is when Matt uh, McGue was, was lead pastor. Uh, Nate was, was preaching and um, it just kind of stemmed from there. I mean, it was, it was captivating and uh, everybody was, was very genuine and very nice and just kind of warming and accepting and, and it just went from there. I was able to see how um, other men, you know, treated their family and, and lived a more selfless life. And, um, you know, I definitely admired men like that and, and I hadn't had a, a good representation of that with, with my growing up. And so that was something that I admired and wanted, and wanted to pursue myself. And so with them being so accepting with, with kind of my background and who I was, um, yeah, it was, that was, you know, that was very meaningful to me and at a place when I needed it. We have had um, significant uh, relationships. I mean, like best friend type relationships with the people that we've we've been in life groups with. Um, life Point is huge to us. I mean, it has been s such an impact on our lives that I remember you had a job opportunity in Charleston, and we were thinking, okay, well, if we take this, we have to come back to Life Point at least once a month. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, it's a huge part of our lives. It's where we have all of our main relationships from. Our fam His mom is here, but then that all of our families in Michigan. Um, so our family is, is life point, and um, so it, it's a huge part of our lives. So when we, you know, we went to the, the first digging of the land and, and we raised all this money and it was, it was really, you know, a, an awesome thing to be a part of. Um, I had reached out directly to Nate and I just, it was kind of on my heart that selfishly if I could be the first one to be baptized, that, that was important to me. Um, and just kind of, it was, a, it was that whole fresh start, right? It's a new building, um, you know, having a new purpose to my life and for my family and just kind of being the first one off the ship and, and you know, kind of putting all my chips in the middle and going all in, if, you know, and so to speak. I would say, you know, Taking that first step and, and giving it a try is, is important because you, you're going to find some everlasting relationships there uh, and it's just going to lead you down a better path in general.